the internet of things is a rapidly disrupting market and transforming business studies therefore creating a need of distributed cloud architecture landscape and forcing to design a robust secure scalable edge computing platform to meet the rising demand of industrial and consumer iot devices therefore edge computing has become a game changer and convergence to internet of things nowadays in this video let's explore the top 5 open source edge computing platforms hello and welcome to my youtube channel i am amar kumar this video is in continuation to my previous video about edge computing and how edge computing can accelerate iot devices and cloud computing i request you to kindly watch my previous video the link is available in the suggestion box now let's get started edge computing is no longer a concept and several market leaders and technology giants are forming communities to bring edge initiatives together to build collaborative edge computing platforms one of such initiative is linux foundation edge which is an umbrella organization that aims to establish an open interoperable framework for edge computing independent of hardware silicon cloud or operating system by bringing together industry leaders linux foundation edge creates a common framework for hardware and software standards and best practices critical to sustaining current and future generations of iot and edge devices first collaborative edge computing platform is acrino edge stack a linux foundation project initiated by at&t and intel intends to develop a fully integrated edge inf infrastructure solution this open source software stack provides critical infrastructure to enable high performance reduce latency improve availability lower operational overhead provide scalability and address security needs and improve fault management the acrino community will address multiple edge use cases and intend to develop solution and support of career provider and the iot networks acrino's scope cover everything related to edge as outlined in this diagram let's have a look acrino scope includes development of edge solution to address telco enterprise and industrial iot develop edge api and framework for interoperability with third party edge providers and hybrid cloud models development of edge middleware sdks applications and create an app vnb ecosystem collaborate with upstream community like ci cd and upstream process support create blueprints to address edge use cases the acrino edge stack has three key principles first is design principle which follows a holistic design with respect to availability capacity security and continuity and the first design principle is finite set of configurations in order to reduce the complexity second design principle is design will include the cloud native applications third is simplified security design which provides a secure platform and services on the platform next is autonomous turnkey solution to enable rapid introduction and last one is platform vnf and application assessment will assess whether the application is fit to run at the edge next is build principle the crino edge stack will be built to scale in a cost effective way and will evolve to ensure that costs are optimized first build principle is low latency placement and processing to support edge drivers and second is plug and play modular architecture using multiple cloud management technologies next is run principle the acrino edge stack adheres to the following run principles first one is zero touch provisioning operations and life cycle which reduces operation expenditures second is automated maturity measurement for operations designs and services third is software abstraction based homogeneity hide any hardware differences via software and last one is common platform and service orchestration in order to support end to end edge solution acrino uses blueprint concept to address specific edge use cases blueprint is a declarative configuration of the entire stack for example cloud platform api and applications a declarative configuration is used to define all the components used within that reference architecture such as hardware software tools to manage the entire stack and point of delivery for example the method used to deploy in a site acrino stack maintains blueprints using full ci cd integration and testing to support the code development by the community members 
A Crino Edge Stack deployment follows the hierarchy of deployments such as collection of central sites that deploy a collection of regional sites and the regional sites facilitate the deployment of edge sites. The deployment shows that the central sites C1 and C2 allows the management of regional sites R1, R2, R3 and R4 and the regional sites allow the management of edge sites which are remote and close to the users. Let's move to second platform and this is Ajax Foundry. It is a vendor neutral open source project hosted by the Linux Foundation which is a highly flexible open source software framework that facilitates interoperability between heterogeneous devices and applications at the IoT edge along with a consistent foundation for security manageability regardless of use case. Ajax Foundry scope includes build and promote Ajax as the common open platform unifying Internet of Things, edge computing. Enable and encourage the rapidly growing community of IoT solutions. Solutions provided to create an ecosystem of interoperable plug and play component around the Ajax platform architecture. Create business value add by accelerating time to market, enabling users to leverage new capabilities of artificial intelligence machine learning at the edge providing tools to quickly create ajax based iot edge solutions that can easily adopt to changing business needs reduce risk of iot adoption by certifying ajax components to ensure interoperability and compatibility participating in a global ecosystem of ajax users contributors and value add suppliers in contrast to in-house development or proper or proprietary technology lock-in alternatives. Reduce cost through economies of scale by leveraging a global ecosystem of partners sharing risks and providing world-class leadership to accelerate Ajax evolution. Improving security and system management through a consistent software infrastructure regardless of use case. Collaborate with other relevant open source projects, standard groups and industry alliances to ensure consistency and interoperability across the IoT. Ajax Foundry is focused on the industrial IoT age and leveraging cloud native principles like loosely coupled microservices, DevOps, CI CD and containerization components. Let's look at Ajax platform architecture. Ajax Foundry is a collection of open source microservices that span from the edge of the physical realm on the device services layer with the core services layer at the center. These services communicate through a common API allowing them to be augmented or replaced by custom implementations. All the gray sections represent the replaceable service and the purple section shows the required interoperability through microservices intercommunications via API. Let's quickly check out Ajax Community Dev Kits. This provides options for developers who want to get started quickly using pre-tested, cost-effective and production-ready development kit. Currently, this dev kit configuration is a combination of Raspberry Pi 3B and Group Pi sensor kit. Let's move to third platform, Home Edge project contributed by Samsung Electronics, concentrates on driving and enabling a robust, reliable and intelligent Home Edge computing open source framework, platform and ecosystem running on a variety of devices in our daily lives. To accelerate the deployment of the edge computing services ecosystem successfully, the Home Edge project will provide users with an interoperable, flexible and scalable edge computing services platform with a set of APIs that can also run with libraries and runtimes. The platform architecture of the project consists of its module to provide the project missions as follows. The platform architecture of the project has five modules. Start from left is security module, age orchestration module, data storage module, home device control module, and machine learning module. Security module provides security features that the home age devices and service should be provisioning such as secure, onboarding, encryption, decryption of the message protocol, and so on. Age orchestration module will have services related to age device configuration into user's home age network. Couple of services like age setup service, which configures the network information and user's profile on the home edge device. And other one is edge discovery, which finds home edge devices in a user's home network. 
data storage module has core data service which provides a persistent storage on the home edge device home device control module specifies the service or interfaces which are related to device service configuration machine learning module services like neural network model interface which provides the api for inference and recognition using deep learning neural network processing you can check out all mentioned services in the documentation as well fourth platform is project ev ev stand for edge virtualization engine ev aims to develop an open and standardized architecture unifying the approach to develop and orchestrate cloud native applications across the enterprise on premises edge it offers users new level of control through hardware assisted virtualization of on premise edge devices you can find in the ev architecture diagram that it consists of features that manage the edge device and ev itself and support for running multiple applications some of the feature like device identity device onboarding device connectivity self updates stance connectivity and so on the fifth platform is sterling edge virtualization platform provides a deployment ready scalable high reliable edge infrastructure software platform a complete edge orchestration platform for bare metal vm and container workloads sterling is integrated well known as source components such as open stack modules kubernetes and so forth the community is working on new services to fill in the gaps in the open source ecosystem to enhance deployment maintainability and operations of the software components like configuration management fault management host management service management and software management the objective of this video was to give you an insights of open source edge computing platforms to keep video as short as possible If you are interested to deep dive more into each of these platforms please check out these links where you can get more information about this That's all for now I hope this information will help you to for the deep dive into edge computing platform If you liked my video please hit the like button and share with your colleagues Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and hit the bell icon to get latest video updates Thanks for watching my videos see you until next time